All right, so let me show y'all how big this fruit is, okay? Cause this thing is huge. <gasps> look at this. Oh my gosh. Y'all look, even the stem is still attached to this, okay? I mean, ain't that crazy? Look at this. All the spikes on it and all that good stuff. And it smells amazing, y'all. Like, it smells so freaking good. It's very fruity, kind of slightly floral. And I bet you this is nice and ripe because when I um, press against it, I'm going to press against it and show y'all. It's like, if you could press it in, that's how you know it's ripe. And it, also, they say, like, when it starts turning brown and um certain spots that's how you know it's also ripened so this is good to open all right y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and get to opening this thing but before i do that i just want to read some facts on this jackfruit here i mean i still can't believe how big this thing is like this thing is about almost half my size so uh, i don't know how much they charged per pound for this but I'm assuming this is more than 10 pounds if anything because it's very very heavy and it's crazy too because just a little story when I went to Myers and it was only two of these like I said right so I grabbed this one and tell me why when I was at the checkout there was another lady who actually grabbed the last one and we both like was at the um self checkout at the same time and she was like talking about how she made like tacos with it and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Um, the only thing is with this type of fruit, it's pretty ripe. And we make it um, vegan tacos with this. You're supposed to actually use like the more unripe kind. So like this is already ripe as it is. So I can't make tacos out of this because it'll be too, too sweet. And it won't give you that meaty texture like some um, jackfruits will. Which is why a lot of people use like um, the canned jackfruit, the young ones, because those are a lot more um less sweet they're less sweet and also they're a lot more um how you say more um like uh firmer more more chewier so it gives you like that meaty texture um like a i guess like chicken or pulled pork or something like that um so yeah it says it has a like um banana apple and mango type of flavor and i definitely agree it does smell kind of like it does have like a mango scent to it and then it's kind of like slightly banana-ish not too banana-ish but um it definitely has a very very fruity scent to it so that's how i know this thing is ready all right so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this thing open so um i think the best way to cut it is to cut it in half i think the best way to cut this is to cut it this way because if I cut it this way, then I'm not going to be able to see all the pies and stuff. So, oh, I'm scared, y'all. I know why I'm scared, but let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. I hope the knife is good. Sorry, this camera moves a lot. But, y'all see what I'm trying to do? That's how it. Okay, so I'm going to stab it in there and then slice it. I had a way better knife than this. I don't know what happened to the other one, but it's always when you need it. Okay, I'm almost there. I hope this is good. I pray that it's not frying or anything. Let's see if I can split it open. Well, it's soft though. Like, it's, it feels kind of... Like, it's really soft. Jesus, it's like a workout trying to cut this thing open. <sighs> Golly, <sighs> run out of breath. It's like hard at the top, so it's hard to get that through all the seeds in it. All right, let's see if I could. Nope, almost there. I'm just gonna flip it the other side. Cut. Oh, almost there. I know I'm about to butcher this whole thing, but you know, we're gonna get it. All right, y'all. This is the final reveal. Wow, it looks good. Gee, oh.
trying to not to get none on the table. Some of these seeds fell out, but look at that. Oh my gosh, y'all. This looks so pretty. Let me uh, cut this extra fiber out of the way. Oh dang, did I mess up the table? Oh no, I didn't, okay. My mom would be mad at me if I did that. Okay. <laughs> Look at it. Wow, that's crazy. Look at all these, and these are individual pieces of fruit. All right, so this is how the fruit looks. And I'm gonna get a little bit closer if you can see all these rings around here. These are the seeds, by the way. So those are, you don't have to eat that. But this right here, Just pull it right out to get the seed out. And then this is what you left with this part. Well, you get these little white, white pieces off. But it comes off so easily and you can eat that whole piece. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a try. This is all good. Mmm. Oh yeah, this is ripe to perfection. This is ripe to perfection, y'all. This is the best thing I ever had. Like, oh my gosh, it's so sweet. Like, it's not overly sweet. Um, it's kind of like it's it's enough sweetness. This is so good. I know I'm like off the frame and everything, but. I'm gonna show y'all some more pieces I'm gonna pull out. All right, so let's pull out some more pieces. I'm gonna pull this really big one right here just to show y'all like the whole piece. But the seeds come out super easily. You just pull them right out like that. You can save them if you want, but I'm not even gonna try to save them because I'm not gonna be able to grow them up here. But you see how it just kind of separates itself like that? And then these are the um, seed capsules. I never ate those, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. So this is a bigger piece right here. So once you clean that, you see that is all edible right there. It's like a whole flower, ain't that crazy? And it pulls apart. And this is where they get that meaty texture from, how it shreds, see that? All right, so that's it. So these are the pieces right here. So it's slightly crunchy, but it's soft at the same time. I, I don't even know what to compare the texture to. It's almost like a pear, like an apple pear type of deal. Very, it's, it's like, but it's not super crunchy. It's kind of on the soft end. And it has like a very kind of floralness to it. Like it's kind of floral, but definitely mango y. Slightly banana y. Definitely got some banana, like a, like a hint of banana in there. Real good. Mm. All right, y'all. So this is, um, the jackfruit. Oh, this is just half of it, y'all. Like, I'm definitely not gonna be able to eat all this, you know, at once. So I am gonna take some of this fruit out and I'm actually gonna freeze it in the freezer because I love using this for a lot of smoothies of mine. So it's gonna be in a lot of smoothies for a minute. And it's also good just to snack on and it's so good, so filling. And overall, just, the craziest, most delicious thing I ever discovered. And I was so happy I was able to find it in Myers. 
even though the you know the last place I would ever think that this would be at is at Myers, but they do sell dragon fruit and other tropical stuff too. So I'm like, yeah, like it's cool that they got the jack fruit here and the whole piece too. So alright, so anyways, I just want to thank y'all so much for watching this video and seeing me try this jack fruit. It was definitely a good little experience, even though again I still can't believe I paid 50 bucks for a jack fruit, but you know, I mean it's worth it at the end of the day. So yeah, I'm about to probably go ahead and take out all the pots out the jackfruit and I'm going to be freezing some of them. Um, I might make some juices and smoothies with them. So I'm going to show y'all some recipes that I will be posting here on this channel. I might po post some shorts or I might just you know post a whole video. I mean y'all let me know. I mean I, I just feel like you know I don't want to post really long videos all the time sometimes i just want to quickly show y'all how i do something so it just depends on how i'm feeling so it may be a short because you know just to show y'all the whole process from my last juice video but thanks for watching i'll see y'all next time bye